Hello, brown ladies. Two brown girls here, Deandra Giselle. Miss Kev on stage. And we are here with this brownie minute to tell you guys about transition colors. The purpose of, we're going to show you guys a few transition colors. We talk about this a lot in our videos. We do. Like, we do talk, because transition colors are so important. They're so important, and when you're buying palettes, uh, more likely than not, you're not going to have one for a brown girl friendly. That are brown girl friendly. Oh, yeah. That's why we end up, that's why it's like always the topic of conversation. Because you're going to find a palette, and you're like, I love these, but they're, it's not a complete palette. It's not a travel palette. It's not a travel palette, <laughs> meaning you need other things to make it do what you need it to do. Mm -hmm. So um, let's talk about the purpose of a transition color. Transition color is going to help you blend your lid color um, and your crease color. So a lot of times your transition color is it goes in your crease and just a little bit on the brow bone. And then it's usually like um, in the, the neutral family mm -hmm. and no, absolutely no shimmer. You don't want shimmer. Like none. You don't want shimmer. You don't because you, the, 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 okay, so it's two things. You want gradient in color, but you also want gradient in texture. And you can't have gradient if your entire lid is shiny. Shiny. Or if it's all glitter or if it's all mm -hmm. shimmer. You know what I mean? So that's like your eyeshadow. You want that matte. You want that dimension. Yeah, you want there. dimension. So you want your, typically your crease and your transition colors are matte. Matte and neutral. Matt Those are neutral. the two things. Matt and Unless, neutral. but you can also matte and neutral. Well, I would say matte and neutral. And then as you go into yeah, more advanced matte, yeah. advanced techniques, you can play with different colors that maybe is a lighter tone of the the lid color that you're doing. So like right. if you're doing a pink, you could do like more of a, a like a softer pink right. and then deepen it with a burgundy, like right. things like that. But that's like when you're starting to get into color. Like, but when you're starting out, know that it should be neutral, know that it shouldn't be shimmer, and know that you are placing it just like I usually place my honestly when I do mine because it's usually a lighter a uh, tone of whatever I'm doing I do like this whole area right in here I like there's no perfect there's no rhyme or reason mm -hmm. I just go go to town mm -hmm. um and then I start toning things down at never ever 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 should your eyeshadow whatever you're doing here should hit to your brow right even your transition color shouldn't go all the way to your eyebrow Agreed. Now you can highlight this area with like you know a lighter oh, tone. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll show you some colors, but you should never get like this whole lid space area should not be one color ever. You don't want to do that. Again, dimension, mm -hmm. gradient. Like that's the whole point of this is gradient and dimension. And what you want to do? Well, we have we have. We have colors for you. We have colors. So I actually just started like a full transition palette. Oh, like wow. this is just my transition colors. And here are colors, these lighter shades up here. They're more of like a buttery color. It's kind of hard with the lighting because yeah. they look really white. Yeah, but they're not that white. Brown girls, don't use white right here. Don't, it's not for it's us. It's not for, it's very, it's not flattering and it's very harsh to take your chocolate skin and put this harsh, my eyebrow is missing up here because I was talking about hooded eyes, so don't judge me. Um, but don't, don't, I, you see people with this highlighted area and the illusion that you see is white. It's not. No, it's usually a buttery tone. It's usually a buttery tone. It's a buttery tone and sometimes there might be like sparkles or yeah. a little, so it may, depending on how the light reflects on it, it, it could look white. But a lot of times for brown girl friendly, you're going to stick to buttery tones, which I really wish you could see. It's this color. But it's it's more like tan. It would be like a taupe. A, a tan. Yeah. Uh, what a, what are it's, there? It's, it's a, like a buttery, yellowy, beigey girl. I don't know. I'm going to give you an example of one, but I can't pull these up. I believe it is either frappe or beaches and cream i'll link it below as examples we'll just give one of each example it's either beaches and cream or Fap frappe by makeup geek only five dollars really good eyebrow highlight for mm. brown girls really good those are the type of colors you want to use these are not i wish you could see them i hate that you can't Oh, actually, that was better. That's better? That's better. It's still not giving it 100% justice, but it's, it's not, it doesn't look as white. Yeah, it's not white, you guys. Don't it's use not. white. Don't use white. Okay, so that's your Transit brow first, bone. Brown bone to uh, crease. Yeah, your brow bone highlight are those buttery type colors. Then you want to use your, if you're 
let's say your first transition color because we both I usually use about two transition colors before yeah. I get to my crease so your next transition color I like to use warm tones mm -hmm. so you can use so I like to use colors like this orange or even these brown colors but you see how warm they are like they almost have like a red undertone or an orange undertone mm -hmm. those are the browns that I like to use these right here I like to use brown and sometimes that's the point where you can do like a, a brownish bird like a reddish brown you know you can play with it but I do usually stick to a deeper brown and then when I'm going in the crease and each step I want to say this too when it comes to brushes um, your very first transition color you want to use a, a, a blending brush that's larger depending on your eye space true um and then you want to whatever brush you start with the next time you do your transition color a smaller blending brush so i'm not saying go out and get the biggest blending no, brush because um, it does matter in your eye we talked about this if we come in close i have a lot of space here yeah she lot. has more i have a lot of space so my blending my first transition color when i'm putting on those um warm tones it's pretty big yeah because i have a lot of space to color so cover. she has space like she's talking about her space right. in here my i don't have as much space so i have to be careful like i don't have enough a lot of room for a gradient my eye space is actually on my lid right not the actual socket Spa right like this area uh, yeah, we look ridiculous, but this area up in here. So we're almost opposites. I have a lot of space between here. That's why I play with a lot of. Um, I use two. Most of the time, I'm using two transition colors, and okay. that's why because I have a lot of space here that I have to cover. Yeah. It's the opposite for Deandra. She has more lid space, right. Than I have. So the thing is, when we do, when you're doing makeup, that's important because you know that, like, if I use when I'm blending my first transition color, I can very easily get up to Too here. High very easily and a lot of times when pe other people want to do my makeup sometimes they can too and they have to tone it down a bit i've done that to her and then i'm like oh wait i just realized that you don't have the same spacing yeah. that i do so that's it that's the other thing and that's a, a, another thing when it comes to doing your own makeup and learning how to do makeup on other people is realizing the different eye shapes Absolutely. and the different it's different so things that change the way you may do makeup your technique yeah so like i start with the large brush here because i'm covering i'm usually trying to cover all this space and I go with a very, actually, pretty small brush to do my second transition color. So, and you just want to get deeper. That's the whole point of this is building you get, your color. You just want to go from your lighter brow bowl highlight. I use, you can use whatever brown, mm -hmm. a neutral brown, a warm brown. And then as I get right to my crease, I usually, if I want to be fancy, I'll use like a red color mm -hmm. or one of these just darker browns. And then when I get to my trees, crease color, I'll use like a really rich dark brown because yeah. that's where I want to define it or black or whatever. Whatever, whatever you, you want to use. Yeah, whatever you want to use. So that's really the importance of transition colors. Um, Melissa, she really takes her time with her uh, transition, transition colors, colors. because <laughs> she has a lot of space, but also because she doesn't have as much a lid space, mm -hmm. she's trying to make sure that you guys can see the color, the color of whatever she's that's put right. on her lid. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of trying to make sure that I don't put so Almost much tone it down yes. because your eyes. Yes, and so um, when I was reviewing, oh, yeah, when I was reviewing our videos, I was like, that is so funny how, and I think the biggest, um, the biggest one that showed is when we did our New Year's Eve glitter, mm. it showed, like, as we were doing it, we weren't recognizing what we at, were doing at the time, at the time but as you do you're it, right. you're over here doing, like, the different, you did, like, a reddish tone, yeah. and a, yeah. you started, like, you built, and I did, like, one um, transition color, I put the glitter on, and then blended it together, and was like, okay, that was good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and but when you look at us, we both had a gradient effect, right. but it was just the the way you get there. Yeah, right. it was different because of our eye shape. So I thought that was cool. That is cool. That was good. That. that was good revelation. Yeah. Depend. You're looking at this. You could have my eye shape. You could have her eye shape. But regardless, you're getting two sides. Yeah. You know what I mean? Versus if you're just watching me and you try to implement what I do, but you have her and eye shape, it's not going to work for you. No, it's not going to work. You're going to be really frustrated. Yeah. So that's really, that's good and it's important to recognize that your technique is going to vary depending upon your eye shape. And we have two different eye shapes and we can give you those techniques in one video. I mean, we girl. actually have two different things all the time. We do. Because I have oily skin. Yeah. Deandra has normal skin. Like yeah. a lot of things are, which is so good. Yeah. So like good. when we do our thin eyebrow, thick, thick eyebrow. Thick eyebrow. That's right. 
Like everything is always. She likes a neutral lip. I'm always putting on a purple lip. Right, right. I like tons of lashes. She's like. I don't. Anyways, we said all that because we were talking about opposites and why you should subscribe because we're opposites. We give you two different sides of the spectrum. One so, video. One video so you can make an informed decision. Not to mention, even if you don't have, you know, large eyes, small eyes, big eyebrows, thick eyebrows, whatever, small eyebrows, um, you can figure it out in between there because you see two, two different sides. Right. So, bam, bam, we're worthy of your subscription. <laughs> Hit it now. Lee, thank you. Um, so, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell so you know when we have posted new videos, which is anywhere between two to three times a week. Yes. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram. I am Deandra Giselle. I am Miss Kev on stage. And lastly... I really want you guys to go through our older videos, especially the New Year's Eve one, because you guys, so it all makes sense Since what we were just saying. talking about. Um, and it was a really cute, like, I'm fancy look. Yeah, that was I fun. I freaking loved our thumbnail, yeah. by the way. Yeah, that was fun. Um, that was, that was a, a fun, fun video. Look. Yeah, I was going to say, it was a fun video. So check that one out. We'll probably link it in this I'll video so that you guys can see it. Um, until next time. All right. Bye. Bye.